Habakkuk chapter 1. The message which the prophet Habakkuk saw, O Yahuwah, till when shall I cry and you not hear? I cry to you, violence, and you do not save. Why do you show me wickedness and cause me to see perversity? For ruin and violence are before me, and there is strife and contention arises. Therefore the Torah ceases, and right ruling never goes forth. For the wrong him in the righteous, so that right ruling comes out twisted. Look among the nations and see, and be amazed. Be amazed, for work was being wrought in your days which you would not believe if it were told. See, I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bit and hasty nation who is going to the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. They are frightening and fearsome. Their right ruling and their exaltation proceed from themselves. Their horses shall be swifter than leopards and more fierce than evening wolves. And their horsemen shall charge ahead and their horsemen come from afar. They fly as the eagle, rushing to eat. All of them come for violence. The direction of their faces is like the east wind and they gather captives like sand. And they scoff at sovereigns and princes are a laughing matter to them. They laugh at every stronghold for they pile up earth and seize it. Then shall he pass on as a wind and transgress and be guilty and ascribe this power to his mighty one. Are you not from everlasting, O Yahuwah, my Elohim, my set-apart one? You do not die. O Yahuwah, you have appointed them for right ruling. O rock, you have established them for reproof. You, whose eyes are too clean to see evil, you are not able to look on wrong. Why do you look on those who act treacherously? Keep silent. When the wrong devours one more righteous than he, and would you make men like fish of the sea, like creeping creatures that have no ruler over them? The wicked foe has pulled all of them up with a hook, caught them in his net, and gathers them in his dragnet. Therefore he rejoices and exalts. Therefore he offers to his net and burns incense to his dragnet. For by them is his portion fat and his food is rich. Is he therefore to keep on emptying his net and slaying nations without sparing? Chapter 2 I stand at my watch and station myself on a watchtower and wait to see what he says to me and what to answer when I am reproved. And Yahuwah answered me and said, Write the vision and inscribe it on tables so that he who reads it runs for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And it speaks of the end and does not lie. If it lingers, wait for it, for it shall certainly come. It shall not delay. See, he whose being is not upright in him is puffed up. But the righteous one lives by his steadfastness. And also, because wine betrays him, a man is proud and he does not stay at home. Because he enlarges his appetite as the grave, and he is like death and is not satisfied. And he and gathers to himself all nations and heaps up for himself all peoples. Shall not all these lift up a proverb against him and a mocking riddle against him and say, Woe to him who increases what is not his? To when is he to load on himself many pledges? Do not your creditors rise up suddenly and those who make you tremble wake up and you be plunder 
for them because you have plundered many nations. All the remnant of the people shall plunder you because of men's blood and doing violence to the land, to the city, and to all who dwell in it. Woe to him who is getting evil gain for his house in order to set his nest on high to escape the clutches of evil. You have counsel shame for your house to cut off many peoples and your being is sinning. For a stone from the wall cries out and a beam from the temple answers it. Woe to him who builds a town by blood and establishes a city by unrighteous, unrighteousness. See, it is not from Yahuwah of hosts that peoples labor only for fire and nations weary themselves for naught. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the esteem of Yahuwah as the waters cover the sea. Woe to him who gives drink to his neighbor, pouring out your wine skin and also making him drunk in order to look on their nakedness. You shall be filled with shame instead of esteem. Drink you too and be exposed as uncircumcised. The cup of the right hand of Yahuwah shall come around to you and great shame upon your esteem. For the violence done to Lebanon is to overwhelm you and the ravaging beast by which you made them afraid because of men's blood and the violence to the land, to the city, and of all who dwell in it. Of what use shall a carved image be? For its maker has carved it, a molded image, and teach a falsehood. For the maker trusts what he has made to make dumb idols. Woe to him who says to wood, Awake! To silent stone, Arise! Is it a teacher? See? It is overlaid with gold and silver, and there is no spirit at all inside it. But Yahuwah is in his set apart huckle. Let all the earth be silent before him. Chapter 3. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet on Sidjana. O Yahuwah, I have heard your report. I was afraid. O Yahuwah, renew your work in the midst of the years. Make it known in the midst of the years. And wrath remember compassion. Eloha comes from Timon, and the set apart one from Mount Paran. Salah. His splendor shall cover the heavens and his praise shall fill the earth. And the brightness is as the light he has raised from his hand and there his power is hidden. Before him goes pestilence and a burning flame goes forth at his feet. He shall stand and measure the earth. He shall look and shake the nations. And the ancient mountains are shattered. The age old hills shall bow. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Cushan under sorrow, the curtains of the land of Midian tremble. Shall Yahuwah burn against the rivers? Is your displeasure against the rivers? Is your wrath against the sea that you ride on your horses, your chariots of deliverance? You uncover your bow, the oaths of the rod of the word, Salah, you cut through the earth with rivers. The mountains shall see you. They tremble. The storm of water shall pass over. The deep shall give forth its voice. It shall lift up its hands. Sun, moon shall stand still in their places. Like light, your arrows fly. Like lightning is your glittering spear. You step through the earth in rage. You thrush the Gentiles in wrath. You shall go forth to save your people, to save your anointed. You shall smite the head from the house of the wrong, by land bare from foundation to rock, Salah. You shall pierce with his own arrows the head of his leaders. They stormed along to scatter me, Rejoicing as if to devour the poor in secret. You shall tread the sea with your horses. 
the foam of many waters. I heard and my body trembled. My lips quivered at the sound. Rottenness came into my bones and I trembled within myself that I might rest for the day of distress to come upon the people who would attack us. Though the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vine, the yield of the olive has failed and the field brought forth no food. The flock has been cut off from the fold and there is no herd in the stalls. Yet I exalt in Yahuwah I rejoice in the Elohim of my deliverance. Yahuwah the Master is my strength, and he makes my feet like those of deer, and makes me walk on my high places to the chief singer with my stringed instruments. <laughs>